Hi, in this video or the next few videos that I'll be doing um, will be geared towards shedding some light on the mechanical drawing SDA. I um, know for many schools um, everyone is doing the same thing and that is what I'll be um, attempting here. Now, um, the SDA that has been given um, for a particular school that I'm not going to name um, they will be doing, or all mechanical students will be doing a bench vice. And this bench vice is not no regular bench vice, it is a pipe, pipe vice. And that is the one that we'll be looking at. Now, if you have access to past paper, you have noticed that in 2013, um, the past paper, the exam that was given for mechanical students was a pipe vice. As such, I'll be using that part sheet. Um, to generate our object and we'll be producing the various requirements or various drawings that are needed for your school-based assessment to include one the part sheet which is basically me redrawing what has been given um, two an orthographic drawing and assembly the orthographic drawing we we'll also do a pictorial drawing which could take the form of a um, isometric oblique um, along among other pictorial drawing but the one that I'll be doing is an isometric of the object I'll also um, be looking at um, what is this a parts list I'll create a little parts list and then a sectional view of um, the object itself so let's kick things off by first setting up our drawing space I'm going to set my units so I'm going to type UN on my keyboard and press enter this window will pop up. Let me quickly set my units. So I'm setting my precision to zero and my units to millimeters. Millimeters. Then I go OK. Once I've done so, I'm going to go ahead and set up my layers. So I'm going to go with layer properties here. All right. Then I'm going to create the layers. So first layer is going to be my object layer. Object. All right. Let me set my line color. Line color is going to be green and line weight is going to be um, 50. All right, I'm also going to set up some other units, other layers rather, and this one will be construction. All right, the color for this will be something pale, All right? Um, this here, line weight will be the thinnest one that is here 0 0.05 all right i'm gonna have um a layer for um text and annotation and what i'm going to call it annotation anno anno annotation all right um let me change the color to yellow yellow and then okay um line weight is going to be default all right now there are other layers that you can create as you're going along i'm going to add another layer now i'm going to call this layer the hatch layer hatch for those person that know about hatching the color of my hatch is going to be something um like this i guess okay and waiting is default all right now i'm going to work with these layers in the meantime um and then other things will be added as a, as needed all right so let's get things going let me add my um drawing that i'll be part of part sheet for 2013 which i'll be reproducing here all right so i have my drawing here and first thing i'm going to do i'm just going to scale this drawing here so that it match up with when with my with my drawing environment so i'm going to select my um, image here I'm going to activate the scale tool by typing C S C enter clicking on my base point anywhere on my drawing then I'm going to press R for reference and I'm going to pick the measurement between two points that I know the measurement for so for example between here and here is 15 so I'm going to enter 15 all right and let me double strike double scale this again so i'm scaling base point then r then enter select between two measurements that i know for example here 
and here and this is 30 all right once i've done so i'm just going to turn off my grid layer in the back you can leave it on if you want though i'm going to first start by drawing uh, this body portion the body of the object so i'll be doing the elevation and then i'll be doing the plan view um, and then i'll do um, all of this here so i'm redrawing the part sheet first so let's kick things off starting on my object layer activate my line tool i'm going to draw uh, this portion here first 55 millimeters that's what they say so i'm going to draw a line 55 millimeters the overall height is they are saying that it is 40 so i'm going down 40 all right 55 40 back up all right that's all that way now um we have this portion here all right this portion here that needs to be done now as well now it is saying that the overall height of this object here is actually 130 so what i'm going to do i'm going to use my offset tool i'm going to offset set, enter the offset function or offset amount which is 130 i'm going to offset this line here down and this will represent the base right here now from the base up is saying that from here to here is 25 so we're going to offset up 25 now all right 25 and then it goes up even further by um 30 so we're going to offset up 30 like this all right once you have offset up 30 um what we're going to do now um is to draw the overall width of this thing here so they're saying that the overall width is 150 so what i'm going to do i'm just going to simply draw a line here first and the half of 150 is 170 so i'm just going to offset um 75 on either side and this should give me um, the overall width of my object i'll just use my fillet tool to um let's say join here and here and then I'll reactivate my fillet tool here and here. Then we'll do the other side here and here. Here and here. Let's get rid of that. No longer in need of it. At least for now. Um, but you can also extend it up. And this goes into play. We need other layers such as your um, hidden detail line layer as well as center line layer. All right. But for now, I'm going to place this on my um, zero layer. Alright, I'm now going to do um, this V portion here now. Now we're saying that the overall width of this here is still equal to the top. So what I'll do, or I should think so. So the, everything over on this side here is aligned. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to draw a line down to match right there. Alright, this line here or maybe i should have just simply extend this line to meet this one here so let's just extend that all right they're saying that the thickness of here is 10 so what i'm going to do i'm going to offset um 10 to this side all right once i've offset that 10 there i know that there is a um from the center here to the edge of this thing here if you're seeing right here it's saying that it is 20 so it therefore means that going this direction before that flat, flat section start it's actually equal to 20 so i'm going to offset this line here as a reference line the distance of 20 and that's where that little v thing there will start all right the depth of the v is actually 20 so i'll offset down 20 and then i'll have a little reference marker and i can simply draw a line from here to here and then back to here then i can erase this because it is no longer needed as well as this here and for this here what i can do i can simply trim away any excess like this all right now we're saying that the overall width of this here is actually um 10 so what i could have done the line that i, I erased a while ago i could have easily offset that um 10 more and that would have given us um, the location of um, this portion here. So I'm going to extend this line down to meet this one. 
all right and then i'll do repeat the filleting process for here and here okay nice then i'll fill it here and here and then i'll fill it here and here things are already starting to take shape all right now it's time to do um this angle portion right here so it says that we go across 20 and then 10 so we're going to offset 20 all right this direction and then offset another 10 all right cool now it's now time for us to locate or draw this curve portion here now we're using reference point now we're saying that the center of this curve point here is actually equal to 60 up so what i'm going to do i'm going to offset this baseline here up 60 and that should identify where the center of the circle will be or the arc for here now we're saying that the outer circle is actually 30 so that's what we're going to do first so i'm going to draw a circle using here as my center point going out and that is equal to 30 all right and i can simply trim away the excess clean up my drawing a bit and it will be the same thing here trim away the excess all right and you can simply fill it um this corner to this corner here all right now for the other circle all you need to do is enter right here the center of the circle and then draw a circle to this point here and everything should um, be okay there all right so we get rid of these all right now it is very important that you understand or you should be able to think critical when you look at the looking at these objects here because it will affect your um efficiency and your drawing time so right there we have everything sorted out the only thing that's missing are the curves now it always say what the curves are when you're drawing so for example it says that all fillets radii are 3 mm all right so the curve that should be here should be 3 all right here 3 here 3 so we can do that but in order to, for the, the fillet tool to work properly all right in order for the fillet tool um, to work properly it has to have something to um, you say fill it to or it has to have like edges so for example if we do here like this it will, have er it will erase this line here so I recommend destroying this line here just for reference and then you'll activate your fillet tool then you change the radius to 3 press enter and then you simply click on this here and this here and that would have easily created that curve portion for you all right you'll do the same thing on this end as well and then you activate the fillet tool and you fill it here and here so we're filleting this right here and this right here but it's not working so what i'll do We'll repeat the process down below here as well all right so we'll repeat the process so i'm going to activate my fillet tool and filleting here to here that's all sorted out and what i'm going to do i'm just going to simply draw a line across here like this and then mirror this to the other side to make my life a bit easier once you understand how the mirror tool work you'll see what's going on and we'll just simply trim away that portion there for here as well i think i'm going to do the same thing as well so drawing a line down like this let's trim away the excess and then we'll do the mirroring base on here so let's mirror mirror this that direction no all right then let's all right once i've done so i'm just going to um trim away this excess here then get rid of this then that is looking more like what it should look like let's check to ensure all right now everything looks okay there what we're going to do now let's remove this line here all right and then the only thing that's remaining for us now is to draw the top portion which is up here and then add these features here but let's finish this top portion here first what are we going to do that now it is saying that 
the hole inside here is an M12, so it means that the diameter is 12. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to offset the center line here by 6 on either side. We'll have to change um, these lines here to hidden detail lines at a later date. So let's trim away, well, let's first do this top portion. I'm going to offset up by, fifth, by 6, offset up by 6 as well. Because it says that here is 6. Alright. And I'll simply use these two lines as trim lines. And get rid of that and that. And then that and that. Alright. Alright. Now, in order for us to know the width of this here. Now, something to always note. And for the exam next year, you should always be looking up for things like this. If you can't find a dimension on your elevation, look to your plan. And if you can't find a dimension on your, on your plan, you look to your elevation. Now, here... It says that the overall radius of this is 20, therefore means that um, this will come out about 20 or 20 meaning 10 to this side and 10 to this side. I'm using the center line here as a reference. So I'm going to offset um, 10 on either side, alright, like this. And I know that's where the base of my line, of my, or that curve portion should be, alright, that's where it should be. Alright, now, other than that, you want to look for other measurements as well. So, we only have the 20 diameter there. So, what we're going to do, let's look, consult what to what, look at what is going on up here. Alright, now here, um, it's saying that M12, so that O there is 12. It's saying that is that, overall thing is 55. Not much measurement is given, alright, but we know that here is 12. Alright, and we know that there is also a little section and a little curve here. So what we're going to do, um, for this I'm just going to make up something. Since this is just our, um, let's say SPA, whatever. I'm going to offset 5. Or maybe 5 would be a bit too much. Yeah. Offsetting um, 3. Alright. And let's look to ensure that we're on the right path. Alright. And let's consult the measurement as well here. So DI enter between here and here. Saying that that is 4. Alright, so I'm just going to offset 2 just for the fun of it. Offsetting by 2 like that and like that. Alright. And I'll simply draw a line from this edge to that edge, and then from this edge to that edge. Then I'll erase these two lines. I have no further use for them. I can also erase these as well, and then I'll use my fillet tool with the curve radius set at 3, and I'll fillet here to here, and then here to here. Alright. And once I've done so, I'm now going to indicate that this hole here is threaded by offsetting inwards by 1. Offsetting in by 1, and this will indicate that this portion here is threaded. Alright, once I've done so, um, it's the, only thing that's the only thing that's remaining is the holes right here that represents the, the mounting um, spots. Alright, now the mounting spots which are here, the location can be found on your plan view. And it's saying that it's actually 15 to the center. So I'm going to offset inwards 15. Offsetting in 15. Alright. Alright, offsetting in 15. And I noticed something a while ago. That might throw things off for our drawing here. So the base here is a bit off. So that's something to note. It therefore means that you need to be pushed this direction here. So we're going to have to start that out. So let's consult our plan view. And this is something that we should have been doing from earlier. Now it's actually 15 from this side here. So I'm going to do everything and then shift everything over. So um, 15 from this side here. So we're going to offset 15 this direction. So offset 15. Alright. And the size of that hole. Let's check. Is actually 8. 
um, 8 mm in diameter it therefore means that the radius is um, half that which is 4 so I'm going to offset um, 4 on either side of this line here all right now these line here will be center line and even detail line but I'm just placing them on my um, zero line layer for now now let's locate our position on this um, object here no all right so let's look now it's saying that from here to here and I hope you can see from here to the edge of this drawing here is actually 60 so therefore it means that what I'm going to do let's simply offset a line 60 to the back there 60 and that will help us to um, identify where everything here should go all right nice so what I'm going to do now I'm going to select everything here and I'm going to move it until it gets to that point there all right so this is something that I picked up afterwards because I was I overlooked what it was and I'm simply going to copy these two lines here and I'm going to place them here for the whole of my object all right and once I've done so I've pretty much completed at the completed the elevation for this object the only thing that's left is for us to sort out the um, lines so I'm going to go ahead and create two layers now so layer new layer i right clicked a while ago and i'm going to call this hidden so hidden all right changing the color to blue and i'm changing the line weighting to um, 15 and i'm changing the line type to hidden so i'm going to click on line type then i'm going to select load then I'm going to hidden, where is hidden, 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 hidden is here, then OK, alright, oh, oops, let's check that, ensure that we check it here, and I'm going to create another layer, and I'm going to call it center, center, alright, changing the color to this here, um, line weighting remains the same changing loading line type and I'm going to look for center okay all right okay all right now those layers have been created I can now close my layer properties manager and I'm going to select both these lines here I'm going to place them on my hidden detail layer hidden notice what happened these have turned hidden detail turn into hidden detail lines all right this is hidden detail these here hidden detail so let's place them on our hidden detail layer then we're going to change this line here and this one here to center line so these are center lines so we're putting it on our center layer all right now our, our lines are a bit close on this here so what i'm going to do i'm going to increase all right the line weighting no not line weighting but the line scaling so i'm going to type um l t s for line type scaling and i'm going to increase the scale from one to five if it's still too small i'm going to increase it to um 10 until it gets to the desired um desired line weighting that i want let me continue again i'm going to make it 15 for the final all right now i notice something here these lines here aren't really center lines so i need to check to ensure that those are um, actually center line in my layer properties tab here all right where is center yeah you see what happened it's hidden it should be center and i go okay and then close now it looks like what it should look like and here we go that's the body let's quickly do the plan for the object now all we're going to do remember these are autographic drawings so you can simply utilize the projections method or projection method to obtain your um, drawing all right so let's do that here all right so the overall width is 90 so let's offset though 90 all right let's get rid of everything here
Now for AutoCAD basic, um, for in order to learn how to do orthographic drawings, I suggest you do your research, ensure that you understand orthographic drawing um, in terms of like generating um, a particular view from a, a given set of view that you may or may not have. All right, so let's draw the remaining portion. For example, I'm projecting lines down. All right, projecting lines down. All right, here is one as well. All right, there are lines um, here as well. All right. Okay, so um, I think those are the main edges. So main edges to include here, here, and this third one here. So we have that out of the way. So what I'm going to do now, let's check to ensure that everything all is well. Are we saying that overall thing here is nine? Oh, this overall thing here, um, that's the um, body part itself. So let's trim these part out. All right. Now, the overall width of this thing here is 120. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to draw a line across like this. And offset, offset off of 120 is um, 60. So let's offset by 60 on either side and that should give us the overall width of this object here all right and you say that um yeah everything looks everything ties in right here okay okay all right so let's um simply extend what needs to be extended all right let's see, extend what needs to be extended so basically um this right here and this right here all right and then we can simply trim what is not necessary trim what is not needed at the moment so for example all of here all of here this entire thing um, likewise here and here all right now for the thickness of this is saying that it is actually 50 for this portion so what I'm going to do let's offset um, 25 offset um, 25 all right, here and here all right and I'll simply trim what's not needed so I'll trim away all of here everything here um, everything there there all right and I believe that these should go as well based on what is going on here all right now for the inner line or the inner portion which is basically um, here this thing that we're seeing here which should be in lines all right and then the overall thickness of this here is 12 that's this portion here 12 so I'm gonna offset 12 um, well not 12 but 6 on either side of this line here all right once I've done so let me quickly erase this middle line here and I'm going to select both these line here and then I'm going to trim away the middle portion here I'm going to activate my fillet tool and I'm going to fillet between here and here all right, and I'm going to do the same to this side as well. All right, for these portion there that extend over, I can simply trim them away. All right, and that will be that. Now, for this portion going this direction, you know, everything is going to be trimmed away, everything here. These should be on our hidden details layer, so we're going to place them on there. Hidden, all right. Now, the only thing that's remaining for us to do is to sh add the, the holes, and the holes are going to be um, here along that line and here along that line as well. All right, now everything goes up 15. I think it's 15 from either side. So, what I'm going to do, let's offset um, 15 down like that and up like that. All right then one is going to be here now the radius of these are 
8 so you know all the circles are going to be 4 so I'm doing my circles drawing the first one here radius 4 all right selecting my circle let's place it on my well it's already on my object here well let's copy it to the other locations from there um, to there and then the center right here all right once you have done so we can um, let's reduce the size of this line here all right I'm gonna make this line here and this one here and this one here these lines are going to be um, center lines all right it therefore means that there are some trimming up in Arda all right so let's trim everything on this side here thing on this side all right get rid of that all right and let's um simply i'm just going to copy this line here so i can do my trimming so i'm going to type tr press enter twice and then i'll get rid of everything up here in the middle somewhere here I have no further use of these lines, I can delete them. Alright, now once that's out of the way, um, we should do the same here as well. So what I'm going to do, let's just simply draw a line there and draw one here. And then use these two lines as trim lines to get rid of that portion. And then these line here will be center line. Alright, now once that's out of the way, let's show the in details here. One of which is going to be here. Alright. Alright, we're also going to show a sharp line here. Alright, there's going to be in detail line here. Alright, and then you know we have the one in the middle. So let's trim things up. Alright, TR enter. Everything above here. Everything up below here. Let's place these on the relevant layer. So this and this in detail. Alright. Let's add our circles. Our circle is going to be. Let's find it. Alright, and smack in the center. And it is a uh, 20 in diameter, so let's circle and then 20. Um, but the radius is going to be 10. All right, then we add some other circles. So there is an M12, so we're going to add another circle somewhere in the open here. So this is going to be equal to M12, 6. All right, um, here I'm just going to create another circle, and this is purely to assist me in trimming up or trimming this thing here so let's trim and get rid of here and here all right let's go here oh i'm doing it wrong um yeah let's trim here 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 all right and then um, these are on my center layer all right like that uh, this should be an object layer all right now that's out of the way um, let's now um, make our way to the other parts on the part sheet list such as your screw or screw Let's do that and I'm going to do it to the top here. Now it's saying that. So I'm just going to draw a line, a horizontal line like this. Alright, then I'm just simply going to offset, offset, offset. So the thickness of this bolt is an M12. It means that we're going to offset 6 on either side. Alright, and let's place this on our center layer. Alright, then we're going to offset inwards. About one or so for it to indicate shedding. All right. Now the overall width of this portion here. All right, between here and here, 
saying that it is um, 75 so that's what we're going to work with so we're going to draw a line and then offset 75 or we're just going to draw a line and offset it 75 so I'm just going to draw a line somewhere down here and offset 75 offset 75 all right so we have the 75 and we go back to our left by three offset three all right all right once we have done so we're going to offset um to my right 18 offset 18 all right and that's where this portion here will be so we can now trim away the excess here tr enter let's get rid of this all right now the overall width of this thing here let's check is actually 18 as indicated on this um plan view of it so 18 so it therefore means that the radius is um nine so what i'm going to do i'm going to offset nine on either side of this line here But here and then here all right once I've done so I'm simply going to fillet the edges fillet for this I want to ensure that the radius is not currently there so I'm going to reset it to zero and fillet here to here all right fillet here to here and we're doing the outer edge as well I think we can probably use a chamfer for that so let's use the chamfer tool so click on the fillet drop down menu here chamfer all right chamfer angle is going to be 45 we need nothing more um and uh, the chamfer edge is actually two so let's do that so chamfering here to here chamfer chamfer is equal to 2 here and oh, what am I doing um, chamfer distance is 2 by 2 let's do it right here like that then here like that and we simply draw a line from this chamfer edge to that one there Let's consult our drawing. Now we're saying that there is an undercut here as well by two. So what I'm going to do, I am going to offset this line in by two for the undercut. All right, undercut. All right, then I select both these lines. Get rid of here, 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 and here then let's undo that all right yeah and then get rid of here and here all right for the undercut then we trim away everything from this side here like this all right and that um pretty much takes here are that so let's trim away the excess on here where the shoulder is all right now once you have done so let's look at our drawing there's a hole somewhere here in the middle i think they say it's um what nine from the edge there and the radius is eight or the diameter is eight so i'm going to offset nine from here to here wherever that falls then circle radius four all right that's where that will be let's double check all right so oh it's actually wrong so it's somewhere in the center here and the radius is eight so let's check and delete 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 L in the center to there circle four and then that's that these 
it's going to be a center line as well all right what's left let's do this portion here so what we're going to do it says that it comes in by five so we're gonna say in five i'm not sure how much the undercut is i'm assuming that it's probably the same as this so let's do that so let's offset in five all right then all right so let's do that all right cool so what i'm going to do i'm going to use um these portion here right use here and here to kind of mark that point all right continuing all right then there is an undercut here and the, and the diameter is um, six so we're gonna offset the three on either side all right like that and we'll trim away everything that is not needed such as here and here and then let's move on all right so here and then this here is threaded so we can erase uh well let's keep that now from the undercut here to this direction here is four so let's do that so offset to four all right let's get rid of this line excess line all right um after the undercut thing there it goes across or from that undercut portion there um all the way over is actually nine so let's do that so let's offset nine from here all right and the radius or the diameter of this is 10 so i am going to offset this by nine no by five all right let's get rid of the excess all right space is on our object clear all right am i doing it right let me double check oh yeah so they should be going the other direction so here to here all right and then here to here then here to here here to here all right let's get rid of the excess lines all right just like that there you go once you have that out of the way let's draw some other complicated portion such as this portion here which is the movable jaw and the movable jaw the overall width of the movable jaw is um 30 so let's draw a line 30 going down it's also 30 going back across it's 30 as well and then back up it's 30 all right then um let's look at this to examine what is going on it's saying that it goes in by three so i'm going to offset three like this all right saying that the height or the depth of this v portion here is 12 so i'm going to offset up 12 all right then i'm simply going to draw a line from this edge here to the center then back to this edge here then i'll just erase what's here no further use including these as well and then i can simply trim away all that's here all right once i've done so i'm now going to add the old section here that is going to be in hidden details i believe so let's do that portion so it's saying all right let's check saying that the old is actually 10 mm in diameter so what i'm going to do i'm going to draw a line in the center like this 
and offset um, 10 so offset 5 on either side all right now the depth is 12 as well so offset 12 down all right and then um, I'm simply going to offset about uh, what offset 2 and then I'm going to simply draw a line from here to here to here and let's get rid of that and then we can simply um, get rid of this portion here and we'll keep that all right now this line here can be used as your center line And let's place this on our center layer. Now there's also a hole in the side and the radius of it um, is 6 or the diameter is 6. Alright, location of it is saying here it's saying that it is actually 5 down from the top. So let's enter 5 as our offset distance. So o, enter 5 which is this line here. And then the radius is... Um, Six, so we're offsetting three on either side. Oops, 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 oops. All right, so offsetting three on either side. All right, then we can simply trim away. All right, all of that there, and let's place these in, in detail there. Pretty much everything here is in detail. Alright, now once that's out of the way, we start making our way to the next piece. Alright, so we can draw this in its um, long form, so let's draw that line. So from here down, from here down, Alright, you'll also see some other edges, but I'm just going to copy here to here and then here. Alright, simply going to draw a line across like this and offset down 90. Alright, and then we can trim what needs to be trimmed. Alright, let's um, do what we need to do. Alright, so let's draw the whole now inside. So, saying that going down, that's where the center of the circle is, which is 45. So, what I'm going to do, let's simply draw a line across here like this. Alright, and then a line down from the center. Circle. Radius equal to 5. Alright, then we have um, the dots there. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply offset on either side of this line here three so offsetting this three and then that three let's let both these line here let's trim away here all right let's trim everything beyond this point all right let's do another circle and this is just for um, me um, and in the and the center lines. All right, let's place these on the relevant layer center. All right, let's place um, these on the relevant layer. This and this, I believe this and this should be in detail. Alright, now that's out of the way. The next step is to um, draw these portions over here, which include the tummy bar. Alright, so let's do the tummy bar. Let's start with a circle. Alright, let's start with a horizontal line again. So, line. Alright, now let's simply 
offset based on what is given it so we're going to offset 4 so offsetting 4 up 4 down all right then at one end i'm just going to draw a line a straight line like that saying that from the edge all the way to that edge is actually 8 so let's offset 8 all right like this all right um saying that this is actually an m4 so what we're going to do we're going to get rid of everything um beyond this point all right and this gap here is going to be about one or two All right, and then after which I'm going to offset the thickness, so 4 um, equal offset of 2, so offsetting up 2, offsetting down 2, all right, and I'm simply going to draw a line from here to here, oops, all right, let's see, all right, so everything here, let's trim. Alright, let's get rid of here, here, let's offset it, Offset by one. So I think that let's trim out any excess. Alright, now that, that's out of the way, it's time for us to do the handle thing. And it's saying that the radius or diameter is, uh, is 12. That what we're going to do, let's offset 6 on either side. Offset 6. Alright, let's extend our center line over. Alright, so circle from the center to here. Alright, once I've done so, I'm just going to clean up my drawing by drawing a line down from here to here. Alright, let's trim. Alright, let's get rid of TR, enter. Alright, once that's out of the way, it's time for us to start assembling our orthographic drawing and then after produce the different views based on what we have. Alright, and so now that we have drawn the majority of the parts, let's start doing our assembly. So let's first start by um, finishing our elevation here. So we're going to make a copy of our object here. Alright, and I'm simply um, going to group all of this here. Or do some joining. Let's let's join, 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 join. So I'm typing the letters word join on my keyboard.
keyboard it should join a lot of these lines here yes making them solid um, now I'll try to um, group all right now I'm going to start off by adding the pieces that needs to be added so everything that is in relation to elevation all right so let's add this here let's join first join join and I'm going to copy everything here moving it over I'm going to erase my center line from this and I'm going to group all right reason why I'm grouping is because if there is an error and I need to make adjustment I'll be easily able to make adjustments all right so we have that there now let's do this portion here let's copy all right now this first portion here should be turned uh, rotated so what I'm going to do I'm going to use my rotate tool like that get that out of the way then this comes down let's erase or remove my center line here here as well I'm going to erase this center line as well and I'm going to join and group all right joining and grouping group all right uh, everything here now let's move it to where it needs to be all right like that now this should go down into this so what i'm going to do i'm going to hold on to it and then move it further down to here all right and all of this here should line up all right All right, so all of that is all good now. Now, once I've done so, the next thing I'm going to do is to add the remaining portion, such as this portion here. But we're not going to see it on this end like this. So what we'll do, what we'll have to simply, let me just select this circle here. CP. I'm going to place it somewhere like this. Let's create another circle. Circle. Yeah. Like this. Let's move this to where it needs to be. So it's going to be right in the center of this circle here. Alright, just like that. Now from that, what is going to happen is that this portion here that we have just added will be adding a lot of this here so that portion will have to be in in detail lines so we're going to have to trim them also you know at, at this point we're going to ungroup this one here now but before we do so let me make a copy of this i'm going to have several copies all right and i'll ungroup this one here ungroup all right all right all right so once that is out of the way this is going to be in detail all right all of this here i would not see this line here so i'm trimming that out all right i'm going to i could also redraw it and then change it in detail but i'm i don't think i'm going to do so at least not now so i'm just going to trim away these as well all right So that's all the way um what's remaining we need to add these um bold things all right all right so this is the method that i recommend for your exam next year as well all right now once that's out of the way let's continue to add portions to our join all right so let's add the remaining portion we're going to add the little thing that will um what do you call it this is a round head screw here to lock into um, this um, jaw portion here. What is it called? The movable jaw. So we're going to draw this little screw here now. All right, now they're saying that this is an M6. So we're going to draw our M6 um, screw. 
so if we're going to draw a line down um we're going to draw it down six then going this direction here they're saying that it is 11 let's go back up six then back this direction all right let's do the head all right the head of the screw is actually um eight so let's um draw a line that is eight somewhere here i'm simply going to uh, move it to from the center to there all right once i've done so it's saying that the inner um, portion is actually four Right, so let's draw the screw head now um in order to draw the screw head um you'll have to take into account the measurements given here which is this four um, millimeter diameter here um that basically means that we're going to draw a line from the center here out like this and going either direction all right i'm going to offset um two all right two offset two all right all right once i've done so i'm going to let me check here i'm going to add a curve all right so let's add that curve and that circle there Let's trim all of this away. All right, and that's basically um what we're looking at. It's basically what we're looking at. All right, all right. So that's what we're working. With. Let's extend. Well, I'm going to extend it for this here and place this on my center layer. all right here um what i'm going to do now i'm simply going to draw the little slotted portion in my screw or on my screw here i'm going to offset um i don't know about one one yeah this direction here and then i'm going to do the same here as well and here and then I'm just going to erase the two outer one that I had created earlier. And then I'll do a bit of cleaning up. Trimming away some portions of this here. Including here and here. Alright. Then trimming away this portion here. all right once i've done so i'm going to add the little taper or a little um reduced portion there i'm just going to offset offset um three inwards all right like that and then i'm going to offset inwards by one Like this then we do some more cleaning up all right some cleaning up what are we trimming here here trimming away here 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 and here and we leave everything as is let's copy this and then put it where it needs to be now for this when we place it in or on our object everything in, in here except the head is going to be hidden detail all right so let's um, remove this center line here all right let's join all right everything here is going to be in detail 
So let's place this on the hidden layer. All right. And let's um, see if we can move things into place. Let's group it first. Let's move. All right, now it has fitted perfectly. All right, so once that's out of the way, um, there aren't much, anything much remaining. But this is what the front elevate or the elevation will look like. Now we'll have to produce a plan view of all of this here and an end view as well. So let's do um, the plan view. Let's move this um, out of the way. Somewhere there, here. All right. So in order to produce the plan view, we're going to utilize this plan here, CP. We're going to place it where it needs to be, to the top. All right, like this. All right. Now for all the portions that are missing, all we're going to do is radiate lines up to capture those portions. For example, um, this. Um, lever, not lever, but the shaft thing there. Now, this is circular, it therefore means that there where we will see a circle in our plan view. The circle is going to come all the way to meet this um, object there. It therefore means that everything below it, such as these, will be in hidden detail. Alright. All right, and anything else that will be below will be in detail. All right. Now, other things that we could possibly see are this here. This here, that's the plan view. However, everything that you'll see for this will be in, in detail as well. Everything will be in detail. So let's first remove our center lines. All right, and let's make everything in detail by matching the properties of this line here to everything all right and let's um i think it's safe to say we can group everything here all right and then we move it into position by simply grabbing it in the center and then placing it accordingly right there just like that all right now once we have all of that out of way it's now time for us to produce or end elevations or end elevation so we're going to start things off by drawing an horizontal line like this showing that it's straight all right then we're going to draw a vertical line like this i'm also going to um well i'm not going to i'm going to draw another line as well to this side as well like this all right and I'm going to draw a line to this side here, and the angle of this will be 45 degree. So I'm going to hold on shift and select my greater than sign, and I'm going to enter 45. All right, that should lock my cursor to the 45 degree, like that. Let's place all of this here on my I have a construction layer. All right. Once I've done so, I'm now going to radiate lines from my plans all the way across and then radiate lines from, from my elevation all the way across. Now, the elevation lines will be used to capture heights and the plan lines that I'll be radiating from my plan will be to capture width and things in relation to the overall um, width of, and length of the object. All right, so let's start by moving to the construction layer and let's start radiating lines across or projecting lines. So, for example, here all the way across and here all the way across. And I'm going to trim away the excess that goes over my 45 degree line there. And I'm going to, and this portion is representing the base. So I'm going to capture the height of the base using these projection lines from my 
um, left there all right and let me just select everything here and move it a bit out of the way all right like this now once I've done so I'm going to project lines down so from here down and from here down all of this here can be trimmed and this represent the base all right let's go ahead and paste this on our object layer all right what else will we see we'll see um this portion here or this face here and the overall width of it will be so starting from here all the way until it touches my horizontal line my diagonal line there 45 degree all the way across and I'm going to project lines down from there like this all right like that and then to capture the height I go to my elevation here like this and like this all right and I'm continuing from here all the way across as well all right here I'm going to trim away everything down below all right and up here I trim away everything above all right oh this is clear uh, once you understand orthographic drawings and projections then this should be um, kind of second sense to you all right so once you're here we're now going to clean up our drawing some more by trimming away the sides. All right, let's go ahead and place all of this here on our object layer. All right, so we have all of that out of the way. So we're seeing this, 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 this. Now there are some aspects that you will not necessarily see. For example, this cutout right here. This will appear in the form of an hidden detail so i draw a line across and i'm going to make this a hidden detail line all right what else would we see in relation to the main body all right so there we'll see the hole which is this here so what i'm going to do i'm just going to select this one here this outer one here just to be a bit cheeky and i'm going to copy it and well let's do this again or I could have easily selected draw lines from my circle up here to capture the hole and then go across like this and then I'll do one from the bottom as well all right then I will project lines down to capture that portion like this this one here all right now this portion here the outer one would represent here all right but a trick that you can use to because this is a circular object what you can simply do is let me ungroup this here ungroup so you can simply copy what you have over here once you have a symmetrical object you can copy what is on all the elevations and then put them on the other as long as it's circular for example in this instant you see what happened and everything lined up it will be the same thing for these um as well so circular so you copy this one here and possibly this one here and you can copy and paste it well not copy and paste but use a copy function let me select both of them again and cp all right base point and then i'll place it right here now this is just to capture the hole in my object all right so let me get rid of this line here everything above here is going to be trimmed and everything um well below here will be trimmed or in other words they will become hidden detail lines so we'll have to redraw them all right so all of this here will have to be redrawn but since i have a hidden detail there already all i'm going to do is copy it and paste it here here and here let me ensure that this is there and erase this one here all right so that will represent that portion there 
right now aside from that you know you this these things are circular as well so you'll have this however in this view since we have it facing this direction what we're going to do we're going to make um the bar visible in this direction um what did they call it the tummy bar yes so we're going to make that visible in this view here we're also going to draw this here all right however how it will look it will look similar to this however it will be horizontal horizontal so what i'm going to do i'm going to draw a line from here all the way across to where it would be all right and then from here all the way across and let me check to ensure that i'm snapping at the right location all right so this is the orthographic drawing being completed right now all right now this edge here will not be visible as i just draw a line and i saw where it would not um be showing so it doesn't necessarily have to be in the drawing so let's get rid of the excess on this line here so that's the excess on the line now we'll also see or indirectly see that little um, v portion there but it will be in the form of an in detail as well all right because it's there but we're unable to see because here is blocking it but what we will see though is this little knot here all right so what i'm going to do i'm just going to um draw a little circle like this all right and i'm going to simply yeah draw some lines here like this i'm simply going to come copy everything here c t in the center there Where am I? copy c t enter let's grab it and it will be placed from the center here so yes let's use the referencing and then locate the point all right right there all right so what i'm going to do now i'm just going to um make the necessary adjustments here so i'm just going to simply use this and trim away the sides like this um now for this here there are some other portions that will also be visible so as i said before everything circular such as this um um where is this this you can also indicate um some other portions as well so let's make the copy and let's copy um things over to that why am i um having challenges with my copying tool so let's um select them here 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 cp cp come on enter all right all right and yeah and then this point which is here let's move it over bear in mind that this will now become hidden detail all of this here will be in detail everything here will be in detail because it will not be visible because all of that is being blocked additionally to that um there are some other things that would be in details as well i mentioned that this would be in detail all right so that's that portion representing here um this not being seen this is object this is object this is object all right all right um and everything below this line here is going to be in detail this object so everything below this line here so what we'll have to do we will have to trim away all of this here and hopefully everything doesn't disappear all right this is being disappeared so let's explode this line here explode enter and let's simply trim and then redraw the line all right and 
then we'll convert it to an in detail we'll may uh, we may have to adjust our scaling for our in detail line to make them smaller um so they are visible even for small objects such as this all right and we'll see everything there all right so we'll have all of that um i think it's safe to say we can erase what's here i guess and possibly some of the other things inside here all right so i think i'm going to do that just to make things a bit cleaner all right all right so once you have that out of the way the only thing that's remaining for us is up top here and then adding the screw holes wherever they may be so we're going to do that now so there's going to be one in the center right here let's read it her line across let's do another one here then we simply project lines down from these points like this like that then it will appear here and then these will be in, in detail lines all right like that now for the ones to the side it is the same principles so we really lines across all right and i'm going to get rid of some of these lines to make my drawing a bit cleaner I'll, all right so all of this here All right, let's get rid of that one and let's draw one here as well. And let's project lines down. Mm. All right, now this here represent that um, portion. So let's erase all of this here. And all of this should be in detail. point now all i'm going to do is mirror these two lines um to the other side because this drawing that we have here is a perfectly symmetrical one so we don't need to stress about it too much no all right so we have that out of the way so let's now finish all the upper portion here so let's copy all of this here all right let's copy that and this all right so i'm going to copy this to um the face over here all right so i'm copying everything here using here as my base point and i'm what's the deal with me and this circle thing here so cp enter all right select my base point here then i'm placing a copy over here all right now what I'm going to do now is simply explode everything here. Alright, let's check. Explode. Alright. Doing the same for this as well. Explode. Alright. Then let's get rid of this and this. extend it out all right and then now we extend we add well we re-add these as well copy let's place it there and let's extend it up all right now once that's out of the way it's now time for us to do the old thing the old which would be basically a straight line too like this all right like this and all we're going to do is simply trim away the sides change these to in detail 
all right now the only thing that's left for us to do is to insert this portion here cp and let's cp and then let's move it to where we need it to be then we're going to remove our center line all right so we're going to remove our center line let's get rid of that so let's do this and we're going to place it in the center cp grabbing it here and let's place it here all right oh we forgot something let's copy everything cp enter grabbing it here placing it in let's just simply erase this one here and let's mirror this here to the other side so let's mirror other side all right selecting no we do not want to erase now we're going to erase here and here because what we'll see here is basically in detail and for here as well we'll also see in detail so let's change that to in details all right and there you go we have our angle um yeah this is this portion here so let's move on to the next side of our design or our um, vice clamp here the principles remain the same principles remain the same now when you have perfectly symmetrical object like this my personal recommendation is to simply um let's see mirror what's on what's on one side and then mirror it to the other side and then now from that you'll edit it uh, edit it accordingly so you'll edit it based on what you'll see what you will not see changing what line type needs to be um, changed so i'm going to mirror it to the other side let me turn on auto for this click um no all right now for this over here now everything up here will remain the same everything here where things will start to differ is when it comes on to this center portion here now everything that's here all right everything that's here is going to be in detail line all right everything that's here is going to be in detail all right everything in detail all right including these lines in detail everything is going to be in detail everything is going to be in detail because we're looking at it from this side here to this side and they will all everything that's on beyond this side here or on the other side we will not be able to see it therefore we're placing them on in detail what we will be able to see though are um, basically um or you see this these the handle thing to the back if that made sense and to capture that what we're going to do we're going to um draw draw lines like this all the way over all right and we're doing the same here as well all the way over and we also need a 45 degree line on this side as well so let's do that so let's mirror that 45 degree line to the other side no then we project lines down to capture that portion like this and all of these lines here will be object lines all right and it stops here all right and it goes all the way up to here all right just let's trim away everything here now remember these will be object line because you would be able to see them all right all right now other portion that we would not see are um let's see because there's a part that is a bit ambiguous here that we're unable to um kind of firmly see what it is and that's the curve portion 
that this is the flat portion that you're seeing here all right so we have that there so we're going to show that no all right let's send the lines down all right here as well Alright, um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Assuming that it's um, at this side here. Let's uh, first place everything on the object layer. And then let's trim accordingly. Accordingly. Alright. Now once um that once that is out of the way, um the next thing we're going to do is to label our drawing. So we'll add our, our projection symbol and we'll label all of this here. So what we're going to do, let's draw our projection symbol. Now this that I've just done in the first is a third angle projection. So what I'm going to do, let's draw um two circles like this first. Alright, two circles. Then I'm, I'm drawing lines across like this. Alright. I'm not going to draw anymore. I'm just going to copy this um, line here to the other location. Locations like here and here. Alright. And I'm going to simply um, draw a line somewhere here like this. And possibly um, here. Alright. Then I am going to say, I don't know, draw a line from there to there. And one from here to here. No longer in need of these lines. And then we can simply trim away the excess here. Oops. Here. And here. And... here all right all right now remember these are center lines and then everything else is object line then we're going to place our our projection symbols on a, at a suitable location in our drawing like for example here all right once you have done so let's add some text so we're going to text let's draw our text here and this is we're going to write um let's change the font here to 20 and i'm going to enter um front now let's zoom out enter Close editor. All right, so this is my front view. Now, if it's a too big, if it's too big for you, you can always change the font size, or you can scale it down by a half, or whatever it may be. I'm going to change the font size to ten, which is half the current size. After I've done so, I'm just going to position the text and copy it to the other location. Then I'll rename them based on what they are or where they are all right so we have this which is our plan plan all right this is our right elevation and this is our left left all right so that's that the only thing that's left for you to do after doing all of this series to dimension your drawing 
And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to paste these texts here on my annotation um, layer. Then I'm going to turn off my construction layer. Turning it off, construction layer off. Alright. Let me change the um, my annotation layer now and I'm going to turn off my construction layer. Alright, now it's not in my way, so I'm now going to add some dimensions to my drawing. So I'm going to start by clicking on linear here. Overall width. Now if you're not seeing it like this, it means that you need to edit your dimension style. So I'm going to type D-I-M-S-T-Y. Alright, I'm going to go to modify. I'm going to change my text height to um, 5. I'm going to change my arrow size to 5 as well. I'm going to change my primary units, decimal, precision 0. Just click on set current a few times and close. Should be okay now. I'm going to reactivate my dimension style and I'm going to change the orientation of my um, decimal, if it makes sense, or my text. So I'm going to select over dimension, should I? Behind dimensions, um, primary units. Feeding. Um, what I want to do? Oh, I want to align my 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 ticks to my dimension line. All right, so I'm going to align it to dimension line. All right, set current a few times, close. Then it should um, reorient my 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 dimensions. So let's do here and here. All right, and I'm going to change something else with my dimension style as well. I don't want my lines on it. Alright, uh, let's go again. Alright, D I M S T Y. Let's modify. Then we're going to go to line. Offset from origin. I'm going to make it offset from origin 6. Let's make it 1. Alright, I'm not seeing it, so let's edit it again. Alright, alright, yes, go, let's go, let's make it two. Okay, set current and then um, close. Alright, now I'm seeing a little gap, so at least I can differentiate. And once I've done so, I'm going to capture some other dimensions. Dimensions to include, um, like, height so from here to here then we're going to annotate continue we're going all the way up to here then here all right once i've done so let's do some other dimension you can capture other dimensions as well so i'm going to select a radius tool radius and I'm going to select this one here and indicate that, that radius is 10. I'm going to use a diameter as well. And you can add dimensions as you see fit to capture the main parts of your drawing. Alright. Here as well. Alright, like that. Alright, and you can add the other dimensions. Once you have done so, it's just time for you to lay out your drawing. I suggest right clicking on this plus button down here, selecting from template. Then I'm going to sheet set. Then I always recommend architectural metric. Click on A1. You'll see it pop up down here, and you can write inside, rename it by right clicking on it, select rename, and enter orthographic all right orthographic click on the outside 
double click on it once it's like this it's time for you to add your to add something so you can see your drawings so you're going to type v port v ports enter then you're going to select single then you're going to draw by clicking here and then drag to this corner draw the box then click now you'll be able to see your drawing you double click inside you can pan around so you can view your drawing and then you can um, zoom in on your um, drawing like this so that it fills out your drawing space all right all right all right like this zoom in i want it to all right then once you have done so you double click on the outside like this you can view to see what you look like when it is printed and you can also edit these as well so for example you want to add information about your work you add it here you can also add text in these spaces as well so if for example i want to edit the number page all right i'll go here to double click on that and i'll enter page one notice it changed there and it's the same thing for the other um parts as well you just double click on it and then you'll be able to edit all right so let's do a little preview of what it will look like all right so i'm going to go hold on Control and t on my keyboard for print or you could click on print up here or go to the file and then print i'm going to go here to general document pdf i'm going to click on here and then go to monochrome all right I'm going to select apply to layout and I'm going to do a quick preview. Alright, now here we go. Looking amazing, 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 amazing. Alright, this is what it will basically um, look um, like. Alright, this is what it will look like. Your plan view, front elevation, left elevation. And if you add more dimension, you'll add, add the, up the dimensions there. And that is how you do the orthographic. I'm going to show you in the next video how to put together the parts um, sheet. Alright, and put and the parts list as well. Alright, so let's go.